two monitors, two modes. The popularity of dual mode monitors continues to be strong this year, so it only makes sense to put two of them head to head. But unlike comparing dual mode OLED monitors, there are more differences with LED displays. Hey, I'm Nicholas from Ratings.com. Today we're going to compare the LG 27G850AB and the Dell Alienware AW2725QF. These are two dual mode monitors that each compete against each other. They each have 27 inch 4K IPS screens, but there are some clear differences in their specs and performance. With that said, which of these monitors is better? And more importantly, should you buy either of them? The first thing we want to talk about is how their dual modes work differently. On the Dell, it's pretty straightforward. You can choose between 1080p and 4K dual resolution modes. It has a 180Hz refresh rate in its 4K mode, and it goes up to 360Hz in the 1080p mode. On the other hand, the LG has a few more dual mode settings. There's off, which is the 4K 240Hz mode. To switch it to a 1080p resolution and 480Hz refresh rate, you can choose between full wide for a full screen image or 24 inch to simulate a smaller display size. Regardless, the higher refresh rates on the LG make it a better choice if your PC can take advantage of it with high frame rates. Both monitors have HDMI 2.1 bandwidth, but the LG also has DisplayPort 2.1 bandwidth, which the Dell lacks. This helps if you have a modern graphics card with DP 2.1 and you want to use it to its max. There are some other small differences in inputs, like the fact that the Dell has extra USB ports to connect your devices. Although the LG has not one, but two audio jacks, which the Dell doesn't even have. This is something to consider if you're planning on connecting speakers or headphones directly to the monitor. But at least the Dell supports ARC audio pass-through, so there's still a way to get audio with it. Alright, these are minor differences, but what about how the two monitors perform for gaming? Even though the higher refresh rate on the LG offers the smoother feel, it actually has worse motion handling because of its slower response times. Even at 480Hz, there's some blur behind fast moving objects, and motion looks better on the Dell at 360Hz, despite having some inverse ghosting. Overall, the Dell has the advantage in either of the dual modes at high refresh rates, but motion looks similar on both displays at lower refresh rates. The LG has the advantage when it comes to input lag. It's slightly lower at any refresh rate, even in the dual modes. Sure, you won't actually notice this difference, but the LG just adds less delay to your system's total latency. While both monitors have some VRR flicker with changing frame rates, it isn't too distracting on either. The LG has a bit more in the 480Hz mode, but it doesn't help that it has a bigger refresh rate range in which it can flicker. Regardless, this is something to keep in mind if your PC can't maintain stable frame rates. Besides that, both monitors are similar for gaming. They both support the same VRR formats and work well with gaming consoles. One difference is that the Dell supports Dolby Vision with an Xbox, which the LG doesn't. That said, the Dell can't exactly take advantage of that Dolby Vision support because of its limited picture quality in HDR. In fact, both monitors struggle with HDR. Sure, the LG has a higher native contrast ratio because it uses an IPS black panel, but both are limited by their terrible local dimming features. They're each edge lit and fail to improve the black levels. There's a ton of haloing around bright objects too. The local dimming on the LG causes distracting changes in brightness, which you'll notice when minimizing and maximizing windows. Plus, small highlights are muted on both monitors when you use local dimming, which goes against what you want this feature to be doing. At least with the LG, you can turn off this local dimming when you don't want to use it. Unfortunately, you can't turn it off on the Dell, so you're stuck with this distracting feature as soon as you enable HDR. This also limits how bright the Dell gets in HDR. Sure, it's bright enough to fight some glare, but the LG gets brighter as long as you don't use local dimming. The LG isn't as accurate in HDR though, so it's aiming for power over accuracy, with the Dell being the opposite. Sticking with HDR, the LG also has the advantage because it displays a wider range of colors. This helps content look closer to what the creator intended. But because neither monitor displays very dark 
or bright colors well, content is just missing that punch you want in HDR. Overall, they're both far behind OLEDs or mini LEDs for HDR picture quality. On the plus side, they both display a wide range of colors in SDR and come with dedicated sRGB modes. The Dell stands out here since it's a lot more accurate out of the box with better gamma tracking and color saturation. You're probably not getting either for content creation, but it's still a nice boost for overall picture quality. The Dell also slightly pulls ahead when it comes to SDR brightness. It gets a bit brighter and is even slightly dimmer at its minimum brightness. This is something to think about if you're going to use it in a dark room and you're sensitive to bright lights. That said, neither monitor is a good choice for really bright rooms because they both have distracting reflections. So while they're fine if you have some lamps or overhead lights in your room, don't place them in front of a sunny window. Besides that, there are a few similar things between them when it comes to picture quality. For example, they both have good gray uniformity. They also both have wide viewing angles that are fine for sharing the screen with someone sitting next to you, but look a bit washed out from the sides. And of course, text looks sharp on both in their 4K modes. Naturally, text isn't as crisp in the 1080p modes, and while it's hard to truly declare a winner here, letters are just a bit bolder in the 1080p mode on the Dell. Scaling especially looks bad on the 24-inch 1080p mode of the LG, so if you play text-heavy games, it might be better to stick with 4K anyways. So, with all that said, which dual-mode monitor is better, the LG 27G 850AB or the Dell AW2725QF? It's clear the LG has the higher-end specs with the faster refresh rates. This is the monitor you should go for if you have a PC that can take advantage of it, like if it supports DisplayPort 2.1 bandwidth. The IPS black panel on the LG is also a plus, but it really doesn't push the needle much because both are pretty disappointing for HDR. But despite having the lower refresh rates, the Dell still has better overall motion handling. So if you care about performance ahead of specs and don't mind giving up on the highest refresh rates, this is the one for you. It's also the better choice if you care about having more accurate colors. Of course, when it comes to any buying decision, you'll also have to think about price. The Dell costs less most of the time, even when the LG is on sale. This makes sense. The higher refresh rates on the LG come at an extra cost. So while they're both great dual mode monitors, you have to think about your budget before deciding between the two. Though one knock against the LG is that it's pretty expensive when it's not on sale, and you might be better off going for a dual mode OLED for just a bit more. The Dell offers better value in that case. That's all for our comparison between the LG 27G 850AB and the Dell AW2725QF. What do you think of them? Which one are you going to get? If you want more details on the monitors, check out our written reviews. The links are in the description below. Until next time, I'm Nicholas for meetings.com, where we help you find the best product for your needs. Ciao.